Today, we will talk about epic encounters, 10 boss battles that define gaming excellence. The boss battles are not just some of the most visually impressive parts of the game, but they also encapsulate some of the story's best emotional moments. Keeping with Final Fantasy tradition of being a massive, sweeping story, Final Fantasy XVI has over 40 boss battles. Out of these many pivotal moments, a handful stand out as the game's best. 1. Ultimalias The final boss is often the most impressive part of any RPG and Ultimalias doesn't disappoint. The final of Ultima's many forms, Ultimalius wields the power of every icon Clive has encountered. Clive counters these powers with his own in a series of satisfying climactic clashes highlighted by the sound of Clive's friends cheering him on. These cinematic moments all underscore Clive's incredible growth and development during his long and difficult journey. It feels like the culmination of everything the player has done and makes them feel the same emotional highs as Clive. This is all topped off with what is probably the most satisfying punch to the face in gaming history. 2. Titan The follow-up to the fight against Kupka, the Titan boss fight is one of the most talked about moments in Final Fantasy XBI. After a thrilling battle between Ifrit and Titan, Titan transforms into the absolutely colossal Titan Moss. This powered-up version is gigantic even by Kenju-sized icon standards, and Ifrit spends a good chunk of the fight running up its mountain-sized limbs. After driving one of Titan Moss' tentacles for the icon's form, Ifrit then has one last battle with regular Titan. Said battle occurs in freefall through the collapsing corpse of Titan Moss. It's an incredibly epic boss battle that never lets up, and many fans contend that it's Final Fantasy XVI's greatest moment. 3. Bahamut As one of the most iconic summons in Final Fantasy's history, the boss fight against Bahamut needs to be impressive. Luckily, XVI delivers one of the most powerful versions of Bahamut to date. This is made even more satisfying by giving fans the long-awaited reunion between Clive and his brother Joshua. The player takes turns playing as Ifra and Phoenix, getting a different gameplay experience with each brother. The battle reaches its highest point when the two merge to become the winged Ifrit Ryzen in Battle Bahamut in outer space. By putting such a cathartic moment on top of an epic fight scene, Final Fantasy XVI makes this fight a moment fans will talk about for years. 4. Odin Despite Odin's name being attached to this fight, Clive spends most of it fighting against his dominant, Bartabas Tharmor. Odin only comes out a few times in the fight, mostly in cinematic moments. Despite this, Barnabas puts up a much more impressive fight than the first time Clive fights him. While the fight is impressive, it has gained much attention for the shift in the normally reserved Barnabas attitude. After seeing Clive put up a decent fight, Barnabas drops all composure and unleashes a laugh worthy of the Joker. His complete lack of restraint coupled with Odin's immense power make him a terrifying foe. 5. Infernal Icon Out of all of the boss battles in Final Fantasy XBI, the one against the Infernal Icon is by far the most personal. Not only does the Icon take the form of Clive, but it is the embodiment of all of Clive's guilt and self-loathing. The battle is a metaphor for Clive accepting and forgiving himself, which happens to involve lots of fire and sword fighting. Aside from its excellent emotional beats, the battle is full of impressive moments, not least of which is Clive learning to use his overlimit and willingly turning into Ifrit for the first time. The use of Clive's theme song, Find the Flame, during these pivotal moments make this a fight fans are unlikely to forget. This makes it all the more impressive when Clive begins to shift the tide of battle in his favor. Both he and Tortle work together to bring Benedicta down, much to her increasing frustration. 6. Hugo Kupka The lead-up to the confrontation between Clive and Hugo Kupka is one of the most satisfying in the entire game. The two men rant about their reasons for despising the other, perfectly building up the tension and anticipation for this long-awaited clash. By the time they scream, now die! In unison, the player is as ready to take on Kupka as Clive is. Though the icons don't come out for this fight, this still feels like an epic battle between mythical creatures. Things come to a head when Kupka comes into contact with the Earth and is able to unleash some truly impressive magical feats. This makes the battle all the more satisfying when Clive defeats Kupka by cutting off his hands. 7. 
Garuda the boss fight against Garuda feels a little underwhelming at first, and the player might be in disbelief that even someone as powerful as Clive can single-handedly slay a god like Iken. It's after defeating her that Garuda reveals she was toying with Clive and instantly heals every wound he inflicted, and then the true fight begins. Clive then transforms into the mighty Ifrit, allowing players to control the second Iken of Fire for the first time. The resulting fight gloriously shows off Ifrit's enormous power without making the clash against Garuda feel like a cakewalk. When Garuda is finally defeated for real, the player truly feels like a godlike being themselves. Barnabas drops all composure and unleashes a laugh worthy of the Joker. His complete lack of restraint coupled with Odin's immense power make him a terrifying foe. 8. Harmon The fight against Benedicta Harmon is Clive's first fight in Shadonid who isn't exhausted, and Benedicta makes it clear that Clyde is outmatched. Though Clyde does have powers granted to him by the Phoenix, everyone, including the audience, believes him to be a normal human at this point. Whereas Benedicta can grow wings, create tornadoes, and effortlessly throw chunks of castle at him. This makes it all the more impressive when Clyde begins to shift the tide of battle in his favor. Both he and Torgal work together to bring Benedicta down, much to her increasing frustration. 9. Icon of Fire The battle against the Icon of Fire is notable for not just being the first Icon battle of the game, but for being the only boss fight where the player does not play even partially as Clyde. The player takes control of young Joshua, who is transformed into the Phoenix, and is struggling to come to terms with his immense power and responsibility in the wake of a tragedy. 10. Night of the Blinding Dawn Although this fight takes place during the game's prologue, the Night of the Blinding Dawn deserves credit for winning over a lot of skeptics. Between the more grounded setting and the character action gameplay, many of the game's early critics were worried XVI wouldn't feel like a Final Fantasy game. Many of those concerns melted away with this impressive introduction of a Final Fantasy staple, Dragoons. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.